For this week's video, I'm gonna talk about my training now that I've shifted focus back to full-on triathlon training. So for the first part of the year, I was a little bit more run focused as, as preparing for the Chile Half Marathon on March 4th. But for the last three weeks, it's been a lot more balanced between swim, bike, and run. So this year I've been averaging about 14 and a half hours a week of training compared to a little over 16 hours a week in 2017. I'm at about 16 hours less of total training through the first 12 weeks of the year. So my quantity of hours is way down, but my quality of those sessions is way up. So if I look at it across swim, bike, run, I'm at about 175 kilometers of swimming this year compared to only 140 kilometers by this point last year. The bike is where the real big difference is. So last year I was at about 89 hours by this point, whereas this year I'm only at 65 hours. And then on the run, I did about 49 hours this year, about 49 hours last year, and I've done about 660 kilometers of total run mileage. But as I've said, the quality of my workouts is way up this year. So last year, especially on the bike, I'd be doing a lot of easy, soft pedaling on uh, easy days or on recovery days. So if you know Trainer Road, Petite was a favorite workout of mine. Whereas this year, when I'm doing workouts, generally they're really hard workouts. And then my easy days, I'm either only swimming or they're completely off. So it's not just that I'm doing more hard workouts. This year, also, the makeup of my workouts has changed quite a bit too. So I've never done any bike run bike workouts and that's something that Frank's had me do a number of times over the last three weeks. So I find them super tough, especially that second bike where I find like my quads are just tearing themselves apart. They're, it's really tough for me to get through, but I do feel like I'm getting a lot stronger because of it. Also, I've been doing a lot more brick running. So last year, I rarely ever ran off the bike. Whereas this year, off of a lot of my really hard bikes, Frank has me doing a quality run as well. So I might do a two hour hard ride and then get off and then have an hour run that's gonna be a tough run where at least half of it is at half Ironman pace or faster. And that's something else that I found has been a really great way for me to jam a lot of quality into a very short period of time. So overall, I'm really happy with where my training's at and I'm really excited to see if it's all gonna translate at Oceanside in just a couple of weeks. So thanks a lot for checking out this week's video. If you like what you see, you can click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this new crazy mother. Yeah.